In this video, we're going to talk about the Veraram Ram Air Intake. So let's get started now. Okay, so today is uh, I'm going to answer a question that was presented to me from Camaro Time. And if you don't know Camaro Time, you really want to check him out. I'm going to put a link up above and down below. But he wants to know where the Veraram Ram Air System gets its air. Now the Veraram Ram Air System sits right on top of the, uh, the, the front of the engine here. Um, and then it just goes directly into the throttle body with this little hose here. Um, and basically it's just a catch and it's got this rubber garment which comes up to the to the hood here and it just kind of creates this seal and actually you can see I need to do some fixing to it um, just some glue to kind of get that and keep the air from leaking now now as you can see if it's coming up here uh, there's no nothing to bring the air in here when the hood's closed so how does it get air to force down in there well, the way this works is, is that to install, it's about a 10, 15 minute install. It's really simple and easy. Um, but what you do is, is that you have to, uh, right down in here is the radiator supports. And you're gonna actually loosen the radiator and, and move it back. And then there's a deflector that sits in there. And what it does is it collects air that goes into the, uh, grill here and deflects it up onto the hood which then creates the force to go back down the seal creates that so that it, it goes in there and creates pressure um, so that's how the system works now a lot of people will will may say something about the the mail slot that's in the SS which is right here um, I got to be honest I hate that mail slot I never liked it I thought it looked terrible but I always thought it was functional. Uh, I never really looked at an SS Camaro or really got that deep into a Camaro up until I bought this one. And there's nothing function there. Now here's the problem with that. There is a kit to turn it into a functioning Ram air scoop, but the problem is, is it doesn't do anything. It just basically allows more air to the radiator. Um, but you have to do some work to that because behind that that little slot there, it's not open. Like when you buy it factory, it's never open. So you actually have to remove all that and probably do some cutting and put an insert in there to re-strengthen that. Now, the Veriram does make a V8 version of this. However, it does it looks a little different. It does basically the same thing, but again, it comes underneath here to get the air. It still gets the air from the grill. Will that Ram Air slot help? Maybe. Um, but you're only going to allow so much air into their intake um, in their design. It's designed a little different. It doesn't bounce off the hood. It actually has a scoop that comes up into it. Um, but very, very similar in effect. Now, I can tell you that the biggest thing that I got with this when I put it on was sound. Um, by opening up the, the air box, uh, it's a, there's an old trick. You used to be able to do it on the old, my old 76 Camaro. You flip over the air cleaner cover. It just lets more air in. It's not so um, condensed. It just makes the car louder. I mean, it comes from up top. It actually sucks it in versus the air box. Now, you can see I'm using my air box as a different uh, method. And if I can get that working, I will share what that is. But it's not, it's not working right now. Uh, but that's how the, the Veraram system works. It is producing more air. It's very hard to dyno something like this because the problem is is that you can't um, you, you can't force enough air. You can't force 55, 65, 100 miles an hour worth of air into it and simulate that on a dyno. Most places don't have a wind tunnel to do something like that. Uh, there is one way to do it, and that's on the drag strip. Now, when I started this build, I didn't do it for all the performance that I could get out of it, so I don't have any base numbers. Um, but the car came with 304 horsepower. On a dyno, I saw consistent dynos of 250 to the rear wheels. Right now, I guarantee that I have 292 to the rear wheels, but I think it's more like 3, 310. Um, and that's based on my next video, which I will teach you how to calculate your um, your horsepower based on 
uh, quarter mile numbers rather than a dyno because the thing about a chassis of dyno is you can change your air pressure and get different readings you can't exactly do that on the racetrack so uh, if you like this video give it a big thumbs up make sure you check out Camaro time hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified when we have another video and we'll see you next time.